Quina Lamentations 4. How is the gold become dim? How is the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. The precious sons of Sion, comparable to fine gold, how are they esteemed as earthen, rather earthen pitch, pitchers, the work of the hands of the potter? Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel, like the ostriches in the wilderness. The tongue of the sucking child leaves to the tongue of the sucking child cleaves to the roof of his, roof of his mouth for thirst. The young children ask bread, and no man breaks it unto them. They that did feed delicately are desolate in the streets. They that were brought up in scarlet embrace dunghills. For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Chedam, that was overthrown as in a moment, and no hands stayed on her. Her Nazi rim were purer than snow. They were whiter than milk. They were more ruddy in body than rubies. Their polishing was of sapphire. The vi their visage is blacker than a coal. They are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaves to their bones. It is withered. It has become like a stick. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through, for want of the fruits of the field. The hands of the pitiful women have sodden their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. Yahweh has accomplished eth his fury. He has poured out his fierce anger and has kindled a fire in Zion and it has devoured the foundations thereof. The kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world would not have believed that the adversary and the enemy should have entered into the gates of Yerushalayim. For the sins of her prophets and the iniquities of her priests that have shed the blood of the just in the midst of her, they have wandered as blind men in the streets. They have polluted themselves with blood so that men could not touch their garments. They cried unto them, Depart ye, it is unclean. Depart, depart, touch not. When they fled away and wandered, they said among the heathen, They shall no more sojourn there. The anger of Yahuwah has divided them. He will no more regard them. They respected not the persons of the priests. They favored not the elders. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. In our watching we have watched for a nation that could not save us. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled, for our end is come. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heavens. They pursued us upon the mountains. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. The breath of our nostrils, the anointed of Yahuwah, was taken in their pits, of whom we said, Under his shadow we shall live among the heathen. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwell in the land of Uts. 
the cup also shall pass through unto you. You shall be drunken, and shall make yourself naked. The punishment of your iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Sion. He will no more carry you away into captivity. He will visit your iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover your sins.